Hey, it's Denver Riddle. In case you don't know me, I'm a colorist and filmmaker, and something that I love is when there's a quick shortcut or a hack to getting results quickly in the color grade. Like take, for instance, getting the same look from a blockbuster film applied to a project that I'm working on. So you can actually see the fastest way to make DaVinci Resolve create looks for your films based on reference stills so you can save time and have people actually asking you how you created the look. That's revealed in this video. All right, here we have three shots. A guy dancing, two models in the desert, and a girl doing yoga in front of a beautiful sunset. Using the primaries, color wheels, temp, tint, contrast and saturation sliders will quickly perform a base correction to get us to a neutral starting point. This part is key and we'll do all this in just one node. Now I'm gonna look for frame grabs I like from different movies or music videos and I'm gonna pay particular attention to finding scenes with similar settings. Looking through the internet, I found this shot from Moonlight, this one from No Country for Old Men, and finally, this amazing sunset from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. I'll import these frames into Resolve and position them right next to my shots. You can see these reference frames have similar settings in terms of light, location, and time of day, so this will be very important for this method to work. Let's first start with the dancer. I'll add a new node, and then right-click over the thumbnail of the reference frame and choose Shot Match to this clip from the drop-down menu. And voila, it's that simple. Our shot has a very similar grade to the reference. Of course, you may still need to tweak the exposure a little bit. In this case, I'm gonna add a node previous to the look node, add a circular window, and bring up the exposure a little bit on our talent. Next, for the desert shot, using the same procedure, Right away, the shot matching feature adds the same color palette from No Country for Old Men to our shot. Again, the exposure is a little off, so I'll add a node and just correct it. Finally, for the sunset, I'll repeat the steps. This time, the exposure is way off, but that's reasonable because Resolve is trying to make this part of the image as dark as this part in the reference frame. So I'll add a node and compensate for that. Now the beauty of this method is that you can use this note as a look for a whole scene or an entire project and then do the necessary exposure adjustments as needed on a clip by clip basis. Let me show you an example. Here I have a whole scene with a base correction already applied to each clip. I'm going to group them, copy the look node from the desert shot and paste it to the group node. And that's it, it already looks badass with no additional work. If you like what you've seen here and you thought this was helpful, give the video a like as that really helps the video. And if you're finally ready to dive into Resolve and be guided every step of the way to creating films people rave about, then I invite you to our free one hour online color grading workshop where we dive into the fundamentals and where you'll get to see the kinds of tips and tricks you don't normally see on YouTube. We'll have a special offer for our color grading academy and our cinema grade plugin at the end for those wanting to go further in their filmmaking. For more videos like this, click the subscribe button and then the bell to be notified of our next one. I'll see you in the next video. You can make the grade. <laughs>